Hello everyone, this is Juan Sarmiento and today is Tuesday, April the 19th. Um, as you can see, I had filled three positions here, two cells and one order to fill a new position on Nike. What happened was that I was recording this and my recording system collapsed and in the middle of my, my uh, recording. So I had already placed the positions, they had already filled. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you why I did what I did. Okay, first of all, it's Nike. Let's analyze this trade. And uh, this is what it looks like. Let's hide the position here and just show the simulation as it got filled. I'm gonna copy this, take it to my, ex my spreadsheet look at Nike. I already also look at Oracle and Pace and those don't, uh, Pace is not liquid enough. Oracle is not helping me much. Uh, it, it just doesn't, it did not up. On the fact Nike, you have the current IV percentile is sort of high, but the other three uh, inform pieces of information are great so i decided to i'm gonna trade it anyway and as you can see i did four four portion three portions rather so when you say analyze trade create duplicate you would see that confirm and send it gives you seven thousand five hundred and sixty dollars if i added one more it would be over uh, 9,800 which is more than 10% of my account as you can see of my available uh, value of my account so I'm not going to do that I'm going to keep it within 10% and that's how I did it okay worthwhile Oracle and uh, pays P A Y X didn't add up this is very good uh, in, uh, apparently, but the um, uh, the liquidity of it was slow. I mean, was not liquid enough, and as you can see, the IV is also a little too high. So those two in combination made me cons reconsider. Oracle. It's also looking good. It's breaking through in particularly if you see it breaking through to um, the top of the Ichimoku cloud, that would be good. And you could consider reconsider it. The IV percentile is a little high. Let's go to the analyze tab on Oracle. And you can see that uh, the volatility of the front month option is too low compared to the uh, front month. So I decided not to trade it. Okay. As far as the trades that I close, Apple and AXP. AXP has been a loser and is due to expire. The shorts are due to expire. And so I calculated this and I said, no, it's a loser. Let's not uh, stay on it anymore. And so I decided to uh, close the trade. But turns out that uh, it is uh, it's, it's making money. It was making money. It ended up with being a thousand dollars in profits. Not quite clear how that happened, but in any case, I'm out of it. Uh, and then Apple, uh, it has earnings reporting coming up soon. Uh, Apple, and therefore, I don't want to go over the earnings, and so I decided. To cut my short my losses here is due to report earnings next week and um, i had my options expiring very shortly thereafter you can see here may the 6th so i decided no i'm not gonna prolong prolong the loss so i exited exited the trade okay i also showed well i'm gonna show it to you anyway you see this line this is my ivsp let me show you how I'm going to do this, how I made this display so you can use it too. Follow me my instructions. And then the script that belongs, that makes this 
is going to be placed in the discussion below. So check that out and copy it. So assume that it's in, in your, let's say, I have it here, but let me just go to studies and edit studies, okay? And here is the, the thing. I'm gonna er, uh, erase it. No, let's, let's look at it first. I double click on it. No, what I want to do is display it here. IVS, that's it. Double click on it and say edit. And here, that's the script that you're going to that you're going to copy from the comments below. Select all, copy. I'm going to paste it so you can copy it. Okay, select it all. I have it copied, and I'm going to put it here in a word processing. Okay. I had already done this, so I'm doing it again. You simply copy it from the comments below. And then you simply create, create, and paste here. And then you just give it a name, IVSV, and SATD, just to call it something, okay? okay with that and here it is then we can delete the others that I created by accident and now it stays there for me to use if I need to go back to it if I lose it for some reason it is right here okay so if I come back to it I just click on it and it shows up here and there you have it so it is self-explanatory if the line is red you can't trade it if the line is yellow you might consider trading be careful about that and the green is free to go and that's a comparison between the historical and implied volatility is what it is okay and it tells you uh, when the historical volatility is still too high compared to the implied volatility or too low rather you, we want the historical volatility to be greater than the implied volatility and this is using the historical volatility which is SV or statistical volatility uh, is 52 days so it looks 252 days back and say okay we have a range for the implied volatility okay so that's how it's calculated and you use it to figure out okay this volatility is a little high here and it's yellow so we want it green and then when it's green you can trade it all right you can use that in your own charts all right that's all for today thank you very much for joining me and see you next time bye bye